Valentine's Day, where our theme, as I mentioned earlier, is about heart health. And we have from St. Mary's, Dr. John Bartolosi. And uh, we appreciate the doctor being with us today. And um, what would be a typical day for you? Is there such thing in, in your world, internal medicine, heart, and, and all of this? Do you have a typical day? When, does it start at dark 30 and ends at dark 30? <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Um, have clinic and uh, some days it's clinic all day, some days it's just half day clinic and then I'm in the hospital doing procedures. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and I pretty much work around the clock. I'm an independent physician, so I just, I work and <laughs> see, my pa to see my patients, get everything done. Very good. Well, thank you for being here and we're going to do a little tag team effort here this morning. Okay. Now, kick it off with a pretty easy question. How would you define <coughs> heart health? Um, heart health? Uh, pretty much it's anything that you do that is good for your heart, whether it's exercise, diet, stress, real management, any, you know, those kind of things, <coughs> sleep. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I didn't know that was coming. I didn't get choked up over your answer. I just got <coughs> choked up. <coughs> this will sound so, um, Aaron may need to help me out, but this sounds very elementary of a question, but why is this heart health so important? I guess if a person's thinking long-term life, heart health is important, so. Well, absolutely. Um, it, the, uh, you want to have a, you want to live a long, healthy, um, happy uh, <coughs> life, and that's why we um, stress the things that, um, that one can do to take care of your heart. Um, because, you know, I tell my patients, the pump fails, you know, game's over. <laughs> so you have to, you want to keep that you want to keep that going so definitely I think you mentioned diet is also really important what would you consider to be a heart healthy diet besides um, broccoli <laughs> the green the green leafy vegetables your broccoli your cauliflower um, whole grains um, lean meats uh, you can do you can do the red meat um, in moderation like like many things um, but you want to do it um, the leaner meats Poultry, fish, nuts, um, seeds, so like walnuts, almonds, um, seeds like pumpkin seed. Um, so those are kind of some ideas of stuff that you can eat, you know, a heart healthy diet. diet dairy, dairy is good, except you want to do the low, the lower fat, you know, milk and. Um, I do skim milk. Is that a, is that a good move? Yes. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Ting. <laughs> I got one, one, one little Check sticker. Box so, so what yeah. you're saying is I shouldn't go home and eat all that chocolate that I got for Valentine's Day, right? Dark no, chocolate is, dark okay, chocolate is chocolate. the real Tell dark chocolate. Tell her to bring it to the office and share. There you go. Absolutely. No, dark, actually, you, you raise a good, a good question. Dark chocolate. The darker the chocolate, the better it is for you because the more tannins it has in it, which is good for your, vas oops, which is good for your vascular system. So, actually. Okay. Right. okay. Keep that in mind. I just missed out on having some chocolate now. So. <laughs> I guess if, if someone has had problems with their heart or later in life there is a heart issue, that's the day they become concerned about heart health. But in a perfect world, um, when do you be concerned about heart health? Does it start in the college years, high school? Again, in a perfect world, when should you? Well, actually, you know, the, uh, the plaque buildup begins in your teenage years. Um, so early on I mean you know okay. even with all kids starting with kids you know making sure they stay active all the way up um, through you know grade school high school college I mean it's it's important because it doesn't just start when you cross over 50 or or whatever I mean it's 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 right away with Valentine's Day I'm sure there's a lot of guys out there girls out there that are stressful about buying last-minute gifts so how does stress affect the heart stress has adversely affects the heart it um, it, can, it causes release of certain harm, hormones in the body that can um, cause problems with narrowing of the arteries, increasing, it makes the heart work harder, um, increased oxygen demand and stuff like that. Over time, it's kind of like wear and tear on the pipes and the pump. So you put more stress on the arteries, you get more plaque buildup, you put more stress on the heart, it wears out quick, more quickly. Mm -hmm. Is there any way to combat that stress? Um, sure. Uh, I mean, there, without seeking, you can go, you know, counseling and psychology, psychiatrists, um, but just doing, you know, having a hobby, um, 
that you enjoy doing or being around uh, with friends um, and doing stuff like that can help relieve the stress of the day. So. You've already mentioned the importance of uh, maybe even in the early teens to be uh, concerned about heart health and talked about the right diet. But let's, in layman's terms, let's, let's talk about how the right diet and exercise really affect the heart. Uh, I guess you need both of those to work together. Is that right? Exercise Correct. and the diet? Not just one? Right. You want to, you know, I tell my patients, uh, 30, well, it varies, but the current recommendation is 30 minutes a day. Um, so you want 120, 180, five to six days a week um, is what you, is what the current recommendation is. And that's a moderate amount of exercise. I mean, you want to, you know, exercise to the point where you kind of break a little sweat. You don't have to, you know, be sopping wet and stuff like that. You don't have to go to the gym and kill yourself. Um, I tell the patients, you know, something that you enjoy doing, um, something you feel comfortable with. Uh, and a combination, some aerobic stuff, whether it's simply walking um, or if you want to do some light weights um, for some resistance training also helps, also helps the heart. Let's stay on the topic of uh, the diet as in eating for just a moment. We have meetings. We have meetings at the city offices. There's, there's sandwiches. We have a late night meeting. There's, there's dinner. I mean, we have such a culture, such a meeting culture where there's food everywhere you go. You go to a breakfast event to speak at or a luncheon to speak at. What are some guidelines to help us know what are the right things to eat? <laughs> Stay away from the donuts. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I, um, you mean the ones that are in my car right now that I need to take to the office? Yeah, that's my favorite part of Thursday. <laughs> you can take them. You can transport them. It's just, just don't go down to the donut shop and uh, go, oh, look at all these nice donuts. Um, I guess my point is, I, 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 don't, I don't want to be carrying this card around and say, okay, I can eat this, 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 this. I guess it's just the, the discipline in yourself and to enlighten yourself to say, these are the right kind of foods, and these are the foods, maybe once every seven years kind of deal. <laughs> I think it's everything in, in moderation. Um, you know, like stay away from the, the, white, the uh, white bread, mm -hmm. pastas. I mean, not stay away from, I would stay away from white bread. Pasta, uh, the high carb. Uh, stuff like that just limit you don't have to like say no 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 I can't have it but I mean you want to limit so if you're gonna have a sandwich um, I'll tell patients yeah okay you can go to Brahms and have a burger don't eat don't eat both buns take one of the buns off and eat and and don't eat the french fries or just have a few french fries for a little taste or something like that but you don't have to finish off the whole meal it's okay and then don't drink the sugary drinks don't drink all that soda it's a lot of sugar um, the fruit juices are the same thing because you're not get, you're getting the sugar, but you're not getting the fiber and the other things that you would get from actually eating the fruit, like you know the bananas um, and apples and stuff like that. So stay away from the fruit drinks. I, I've got one more question for you before we put you on the spot here. So are you saying I can have my diet coke with the Snickers? Does that work? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I must have missed his explanation somewhere. So no. I'm thinking I don't want to eat sugar. I mean, I don't want to drink sugar, so I'll have a diet coke with my payday or something like that. So no, no. Stay okay. Away. Anytime a doctor away. does this to you, you, you know you need, you need to take the class over. That's for sure. Our special guest this morning, Dr. John Bartolosi from St. Mary's, and uh, we're talking heart health, and we appreciate the doctor being with us today.